Earlier this week, Vice President-elect Mike Pence and some Republican leaders made it clear they will repeal the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare. How they'll do it is still up for debate, but it will no doubt affect the millions of people who are on it. Joining me now, Dr. Jen Cottle. She's a family physician in New York City, and uh, we have been friends for some time. Jennifer, good to see you again. Certainly, good you're you. uh, one of the many physicians that are on the front lines of this health care issue. I'm really curious if you're hearing from your patients uh, with their concerns about Obamacare, as it's called, uh, going away. Yeah, no, I am hearing concerns. And I actually, as a physician, I'm thinking about this too. I mean, look, Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act made so many changes with our health care system over the last few years. And literally millions of Americans have been able to get care. Uh, as a family doctor, I actually had patients that started seeing me that had in the past but had to stop because they lost coverage but got it again due to Obamacare. So I've actually experienced firsthand what that's like to have a patient get coverage. But there have been some issues with Obamacare. There's two sides to every coin. You know, my thing, Michaela, is as we move forward with this health care discussion, what I want as a family doctor is I want us to keep people, patients, lives and health really at the forefront of the conversation. I know one of the other the, the concerns you have is about preventative care. You don't feel there's enough focus on that. Well, preventative care is, is huge, and I think that's one of the, the great things about the Affordable Care Act now. I don't want to see the emphasis on preventative care go away. I do not. It's not just because I'm a family doctor, and that's a big part of what I do, but we know that mammograms, paps, colonoscopies, vaccines, not only do they save lives and keep people healthy, but they also lower costs and keep costs down over the long run. I mean, we're once again, bringing it back to lives, that's really what this is about. So yes, Michaela, that's absolutely one thing I really want us to be thinking about as we further our health care discussions. You made the point that access to coverage doesn't always mean access to care. Yeah, it's, it's very true, you know, and, and, and I guess there are, there are a few tenets that I'm thinking about and, and I think a lot of us physicians and people are thinking about, right? We want to make sure that people have access to care, but we also want to make sure that people have affordable care. And those are not the same thing. You know, affordable care means not just, you know, paying co-pays that are reasonable, $10 right, right. or whatever, but also prescriptions and emergency care costs. But we need to make sure that patients can see the doctors they want to see and that there's mm -hmm. enough of a physician workforce and that we also minimize uncertainty especially in this insurance marketplace. I mean, there's a lot of things that need to be thought about. Yeah, certainly there are, and that's why we wanted to hear from a physician on the front lines. Dr. Cottle, good to see you. Happy New Year in a snowy New York City. My goodness, bundle <laughs> up out there. Thanks so much for joining Happy us. Happy New Year. Take you care. too.